What's up, Internet? Hey, Thunderstorm! And we're actually about to get, like, Thunderstorms for a week straight here, so that's... serendipitous, I suppose. We are here in the town. Uh, we're starting pretty late. I'm not sure how long we're gonna go for a couple of reasons. First of all, I have to prep and do some stuff for the channel. But also, we're gonna be streaming Pokemon later as well. There's not gonna be a lot to do in about nine minutes when Nook closes and everyone goes to bed. But, uh, we'll see what we can do in this time. Because it is Saturday, however, we are gonna go take a look at our boy KK Slider, but first we gotta figure out what song we want from him. So let's take a look at our library real quick. I am actually kind of on a timer, we got about nine minutes before he disappears for the week. So I kinda gotta pick something quick. Okay, I think I know what we're gonna go ask for. Okay, let's just clearly look at a different page instead of actually looking at my recording. Okay. Now I'm really hoping this game doesn't use any uh, fancy capitalization for this because I know other iterations of Animal Crossing do. Space. Hopefully that worked. Now what's particularly interesting about this song, having listened to KK sing it for us, the actual song that we get for our music player, which we will put on very quickly and then go to Nooks before he closes, it seems to actually play at a faster speed and there's actually like an off-key note during it. I think that was a really slow song, but this actually plays really fast. Like it's playing at like a two times speed or something. And there's the off key right there. It like warbles for some reason. I've heard a couple of air checks that don't sound quite like they should. But uh, I always find it interesting when you see stuff like that. It's a cockroach, we don't need one of them. Let's see, we have a shirt. A chevron shirt. Spooky paper. 
How chevrony is it? Fairly chevrony, but not chevrony enough for my tastes. Okay, we gotta go to Nooks because he's closing soon. Stag beetle! Got it. I'm curious how much this will sell as well as how much the fish will sell. So let's try selling them individually and just see. So the fish is worth exactly 3,000 bells. That's not that impressive. The coelacanth is worth 15,000. The flat stag is worth 2,000. You know, for a single insect, that's not bad. Alright, first things first, we gotta see exactly what he's selling. And if any of it matters to us. Yeah. I mean, we can buy an 8-ball shirt, I guess. Just try and stock up on tickets, sure. We'll grab that rainbow shirt too, because why not? I don't think we have that in our catalog yet. I actually quite like this Nook is Closing sort of sleepy song. Because of the seven colors of the rainbow, it's worth 777 bells. I actually like that um, drawers behind us too. Please see Nick. A dinosaur egg. Oh, that's our axe. Did we? No, I guess not. And a mammoth torso. Alright, let's sell some stuff. I would like to sell this and this and this. And this and this and this and this. Oh, it's so close to a bank deposit, but not quite. Yeah, what the hell, we'll take this because it's kind of nice looking. I might find a place in our house. And now we just gotta buy a bunch of flowers real quick. We've got about one minute. I need to buy all of your flowers, Nook. Quickly! I'll take this tulip. Because it will make our garden even more amazing. And this pansy, for the same reason. We've got about a week left before the raffle as well, so we really do have to stockpile. The problem is, if Nook doesn't have anything cool to win, or indeed he does, but we don't win it, it'll be a waste of bells. Oxford's gone! I know I read that in the letter real quick, but I'm excited. I didn't like him very much. That said, I've still never talked to this person, and she's still here, so clearly not talking to villagers doesn't actually do anything. Kind of unfortunate. You can't just, you know, ignore them out of existence. Yeah, we're done planting over here, I guess. So onward to this little chunk of the world. Pretty exciting that we get to start a new boss maker. Yeah, it's a really small chunk that we have to deal with. Ooh! Olive! You're a cutie. I don't think I can knock on a tarp all that well. Uh oh. Oh no! No? I mean, if we're gonna really do that... There, now I'm a little bit more comfortable giving you all my money. Because <laughs> you don't know how much I have anymore. Let's play games then. I like games. Oh, got that exotic wardrobe. Okay. A bluegill. 
purple butterfly, and a bear. Well, the two bugs, or the two bugs, the bug and the fish are only available in summer, I think. Okay, how much did I get? That's a little bit of an increase in balance that I spent, so yeah, alright. Let's play! Alright, let's try it. It's a story that tells us absolutely nothing about her question. What color is the banana that I didn't tell you anything about? So just guess. Okay, it was a brown banana. Uh, I, I do not like that. Oh, it wasn't even an exclusive camping item. Lame. Let's try again. I want to play more camping games. Come on, Olive. You can buy this terrible wallpaper you gave me for all of my money. Ugh, she's not gonna want to play another game. Just like the igloos, but minus getting like the greatest item in the entire game from it. I mean, I was at least willing to sit by and try and get a dummy. But this is random and there's nothing really cool out of it. Yeah, screw it. I lost all 5,000 bells I had on my wallet. Maybe Spike needs something. Do you need a garden? Because I think I just supplied you with one. I don't know where Oxford lives. Hey, I might be able to find him, but I'm not doing that tonight. We'll go deal with that tomorrow. Like I said, I want to kind of keep this one a little bit short. So... Oh, Oxford, you're finally gone, but we still haven't gotten any new villagers, which is a little strange. A ball. Do I have one? No. Can I find one? Possibly. I don't know if they enjoy ball games, but I will see if I can find you a ball. The problem is, it will probably be on the other side of the river, and I don't want to deal with that ever. You know how it is. Dealing with rivers kind of sucks. Hmm. Rhoda! Talk to me. Her eyes are angry Pac-Mans. With hair standing on the ends. Uh, I don't want to deal with Penny, but fine. Clearly I can't make her leave by ignoring her. So I guess I will just have to acknowledge her existence. Why are there mosquitoes out in the rain? What was happening to Rhoda? It was like she was having a seizure. She was all just shaky and stuff. It was weird. Alright, thousand bells. We're a step closer to going to play more camping games. Even if I don't want to, ever. Stupid camping games. Totally rigged. Olive's a swindler. I don't think I've ever actually seen Penny's house. Oh yeah, it's all Spartan-y and nonsense. I mean, I've only been here for like a month and a half. Why haven't you talked to me yet? I like your other shirt better, mainly because I spent hours drawing it when I was a kid. Ska week. She likes ska music. And she's not particularly strong. Yes, I actively plan to come talk to you for work when you have nothing for me. Actually, she's got a manhole in the col in the color in the corner of her room. Thank you, brain. That's the word I'm looking for. 
It probably hides like a secret sub level to her house that has all her nice stuff in it. She just hides all her nice stuff so that no one actually gets jealous. She's very sneaky, that one. I wonder if Tangy's got anything for us to do. Tangy? I will take a thing to Sui. E. Sure. You know, I love everything about her house, except for this Rustoid. Everything else seems to sort of fit. Even the Metatoid kind of works. But not the Rustoid. I mean, you could blend everything in her room and make like a delicious smoothie, and the Metatoid could be like the ice to keep it cold. But the Rustoid just... He's a party pooper. He poops on parties. Yeah, we already found tennis. Not a fan. Alright. Let's not destroy all the flowers. Let's go to Sue's house. Ah! You made Cookie angry. Did you ask her for work and she said, do you plan on showing up when she never has stuff for you? Because I do that all the time and I think it makes her really mad. I will take some furniture, sure. Oh, you're not angry anymore. Now you're just... Okay, now you're angry again. I'm... Animal Crossing... You're being weird again. Huh. She's not angry. She's furious. She's not angry. She is completely enraged. This is... strange, to say the least. Okay, that was weird. Maybe she missed her neighbor so much that she got all, like, insane for a minute. Hey, town is a perfect place. And it's raining, so gyroids tomorrow. Also, kuagatas. I need to catch them. And I did. Stag beetles are so cool. Maybe we'll find a coelacanth while we're out here. Sea bass. Nothing. There's a fish. That's not the fish we're looking for, so I don't care. Uh. Hey, a thing I can dig up. Yes, please. Got a fossil. But are there going to be coelacanths? I fear not, because that is a sea bass. And that is as well. Alas, no coelacanths. Have anything special planned? I know one of the towns has Crazy Red showing up in a couple days. Wendell. The 24th. The day of Wendell. It's the day all the fish disappear from the rivers, never to be seen again. It's like the day of Lavos, but only for fish. Whole fish civilizations will be just gone forever. Uh, did I not see a weed over here? Okay, well, whatever. Not really seeing much for us to do right now. Maybe our old pal Pearl will keep things interesting. What's up with you? 
I know, Tangy. I'll get your Pokemon Pikachu back, pal. You can count on me. She's not that far away. So points for the quest being relatively easy. Tangy! I can take the pearl. As long as you didn't give it to someone else that's currently asleep. Like, yeah, everything else here could be blended into a nice, delicious smoothie, except for this giant heap of rust that looks terrified of existing. It just... it's not the perfect thing to complete the room. I'm not saying my room design is exactly genius or anything, but... That restoid really just doesn't work. Here's a delivery. I shall take some stationery, sure. Don't regret asking for my help. I'm Mr. Helpful. Alright, maybe we'll try playing camping games a little bit more and then we'll call it. I think... I think KK goes away at 9 or 10, rather. Nope, he's still here. Hmm. Maybe it's 11, he disappears. Alright, here's the tent. Let's try not to be completely destroyed by a swindler this time. Alright, Olive. I have stuff that you could buy. If you want to buy stuff, or stuff that we could play games for. Alright, let's play. I don't need my tall lantern. She had a lot of fun. She caught a bluegill. She saw a really neat purple butterfly. It's just a summer. I mean, you're not going to catch a butterfly in the middle of winter, and I don't think bluegills are available in the fall. And spring isn't an option, so... Let's play some games, then. I like playing games. Alright. Let's play, Olive. I think you went in summer again. Wow. Huh. When the hell did you find a purple butterfly and a bluegill? It's a random question thing, I guess, that has nothing based on any information she gives you. That's just dumb. Well, are you going to give me at least a chance to win something exclusive, or are we calling it a day, Olive? I guess this is it for Olive. She just does not want to play ball with us. And that's fine. I mean, we got our dummies. It's not like we can get anything we really want from these camping idiots anyway. I'm not bitter at all if you think that you're just silly. Anyway, I think that will be it for today. Like I said, we're going to keep this a little bit short because I have to finish up a review for the other channel. As well as prep for Pokemon. Hopefully my equipment actually doesn't uh, self-destruct like it did last week. That would be kind of crap. But I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see over 1,200 at this point videos waiting just for you of all sorts of games, not just Animal Crossing. Regardless of your taste, there's something on there for you, I'm sure. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can to, you know, help me continue to do what I do to the best of my abilities. Plus, you get yourself on the Discord where we can talk about lots of interesting things such as why was Cookie freaking out and then not freaking out and then re-freaking out and also spinning in circles? And why is Olive such a swindler and a horrible person? 
I don't know, but maybe together we can find our answers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.